No, and here's what we have. And, and, and you know what? I, I've been dealing with this filth since I was a little girl. You know, they're so fucking tough. These fucking assholes are so fucking tough. There always has to be five, six of them. My ex went on and on about how he'd go home with Big Pete Lewis and Parisi and uh, Lanzies and they'd go get their baseball bats and they'd go beat the fuck out of somebody. Nine, ten of them. Can you imagine one guy? They almost murdered somebody, okay? He was up on felony charges as a young man. But instead of doing time, they let him go. So some innocent person like me gets, gets involved with him. Everybody tells me what a nice guy he was. I had no clue. Big fucking coke dealer, okay? And, and he's still doing it. A grown man. He sits up there with all the fucking money. My share of the money. A lot of fucking money now. Sending these fucking his goon squad after me. His thugs. And it was the same way with Holly Theron and my mother. You know, you get them alone. Like, come on, Holly, come down here and fucking see me. But she's hiding. They hide behind the cops now, and this is what they do. All of them, Arlene Spencer, uh, Mary Alice Hastings, Connie Hastings, uh, you know, uh, all of them. You know, Holly Theron, her fucking skanky friend, Boo Janowski. They're all doing their fucking brothers. And you know something? But when you call them out, oh, oh, they don't know what you're talking about. They're afraid. My sister-in-law, uh, uh, Cynthia uh, uh, Flanagan. You know, they do their filthy shit with like 10 other people. This is how they work. But yet, if you hear their stories, oh my God, they've killed people. They beat people up. They stabbed and robbed and murdered people. But you know what? This is why. This is why they're so fucking pathetic. Because there always needs to be 10 of them. And this is the way they were in school. And this is what they did to me this time. I had no fucking clue. They throw me on the street. They steal every fucking thing that I own. And then they sit around with their big eyes. Oh, I don't know. But if you go to them, they're ready to shit their pants. Because they're so fucking afraid. Because they know how sick and weak they are. Because that's why you need 10 of them. You need 10 of them for one actual decent adult. Because they're children. And that's why you get into a gang. Children get into a gang. And you know, that's respect for gang members. That's respect for the real gangs in this fucking America. Not these fucking posers here that are wealthy. They don't have anything fucking better to do. They just want to get off going around gang banging and beating people up. It's fucking pathetic.